school, going to class, homework, having a family, seeing your family, seeing your friends, having time for you, having time for hobbies. Does this sound like the set of things that you usually struggle with? Time management is one of the things that my students tell me that they struggle with the most. I think it makes a lot of sense to struggle with time management, particularly after the year 2020, and we all know what a disaster that was for trying to plan out anything. But time management is one of those skills that is super essential for any student, and yet it's not formally taught. So I thought that I would create a series to kind of lay it out and really help you slowly get better at it. So this video is the first level, and this is kind of intended for people who often forget what's due, can't keep track of everything, and just get very overwhelmed and, and forget to do things. Now, in the next video, I will talk more about how to better manage your days by setting goals and how to really take into account the amount of energy you have so that you can maximize what you do in a day. In my level three video, I'll explain how to really plan so that you can manage your busiest, most stressful times in the semester. And then in my fourth video, which is kind of like a level four, it's just really some advice and troubleshooting tips if you find that you continue to struggle with time management. So there are a few things that you need if you want to work on this series. The first thing that you need is a planner. So I just found the cheapest planner that I could on Amazon, but you specifically want to look for a planner that has a weekly view with plenty of space to write in things for each day. You can also use a digital planner, but personally, I prefer the paper planner. I just think it's a lot faster to flip through week by week and to kind of see everything. But you know, you can apply all of this advice to a digital planner if you wish. I also recommend that you get a set of colored pens. I am a big fan of having color. And I really recommend that just so that you can kind of color code a lot of the things that you have going on. I think it just makes it visually easier to kind of see what is dominating your time week by week so that you can make better decisions. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into level one. Okay, so level one, so we're just gonna get started with time management. And I'm gonna tell you our overarching goal in level one is you just wanna get used to using a planner every day. That is the overarching goal. Now, we're gonna start with step one here. And when you get your planner, you wanna go through all your syllabi and note all the major dates and deadlines in your planner. So any exams, if you have those dates, write them down. Finals, projects, papers, anything you've got, go ahead and write all that down. Now, not all classes will state the major deadlines, so just write out what you can. And, you know, as you find out other major deadlines, then note those too. Now, in step two, go through what you wrote down and notice if you have any very busy weeks and then make notes to yourself in earlier weeks. So in this example, I see that I have a pretty busy midterm week coming up, so I'm actually gonna flip back to two weeks before that and write a note to myself that I might wanna take off of work so that I can have more time for school. In step three, so this is where you start using a planner each week, you wanna write out all your homework deadlines, your work schedule, your practice times, etc. So however you can find that information, now you want to start organizing that and take a little bit of time each week just to note down all those deadlines and anything else you've got going on. Then in step four, you want to keep the planner open and get used to just having it with you regularly and cross off each item as you complete it. And that's really it. So within this, I want you to note any time you turn things in late not to like guilt yourself, but just so that you can start seeing some of your habits. This will help you to ultimately get better with time management. So it's very important that you don't beat yourself up if you miss deadlines. Instead, just focus on making small changes each week. Getting better at time management definitely takes some patience and time. So if this is new to you, try to make using a planner and checking things off as a new habit for like the next two to four weeks. So just start getting really used to doing that. And 
If you frequently miss deadlines, you will start to make a plan on how to get better with that in level two. And so that brings me to what's next. So what's next in level two is day by day goal setting. And we're going to do it really according to your personal mental energy. So it's going to be all about you and your needs. So that's actually it for this video. So if you found this helpful as a way to get started, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, maybe leaving a comment or sharing this series with a friend. And good luck, guys. I hope to see you all in level two.